I'm sorry. This is I'll, the, I'll, son, I'll the son, the father of the Rishoner, the great grandfather of Rabbi Avraham Matzis So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go through the uh, the dynasty now. Okay. We have the Rebbe serves the Talmud of the Shtefan Eshta. So okay. we say the Nishmas Rabbi Nachaim Zam and Rabbi Moshe. His Rebbe was Rabbi Avraham Matzis Yosh Shtefan Okay. The Nishmas Rabbi Avraham Matzis Yosh Ben Rabbi Yisrael. His father was Rabbi Yisrael of Rishon, the Rishoner. Famous visioner. Lean Ishta of Ben Yisrael, Ben Rabbein Shalom Shachna, right? Shalom Shachna was a father visioner, so he's the, the grandfather of. Oh, I missed him. I said Rabbein Shalom Shachna, I skipped him. Rabbein of Rabbein Shalom Shachna, Ben Rabbein Shalom Shachna, right? Was the was the Rebbe of the of the Shtefan Eshter of of the Rimbitzer. Rabbein Shalom Shachna, Ben Rabbein Yisrael. So I Menachem Nachum was the son of Mishtaf and Eshba, the son of the Rishon. Lein Nishmas of Ben Yisrael Ben Ben Shalom Shachna. Lein Nishmas Ben Shalom Shachna Ben Rabbeinu Avram. Lein Nishmas Ben Rabbeinu Avram Ben Rabbeinu Doiv Ber. Ben Doiv Ber was the Magen and Mezuz. He was the Talmud Muvuk of the Baal Shem Tov, and he was the 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 tzaddik responsible for um, disseminating Chasidus throughout Russia, Poland, etc. Lein Nishmas Ben Doiv Ber Ben Rabbeinu Avram. Lein Nishmas Ben Yisrael Ben Ben Rabbeinu Eliezer Baal Shem Tov. Lein Nishmas Rabbeinu, Rabbi Yitzchak ben Sara Sasha, we have initials Rabbeinu Moshe ben Rabbeinu Shmuel, I believe. Um, Seifer, we have initials Shem Shmuel, Shmuel ben Rabbeinu Avram, we have initials Rabbeinu Nasimata ben Rabbeinu Shlema. Baal <laughs> Rabbeinu <laughs> 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 It's not a spicy Tell the story with the Stefan Esther with the dream. Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. It's very good. Very you, get cake, you get the cake, the cake of the licorice. I like right. that. That'd be a great story about it. It's Flavor of the Vatican. And what he found. The Chida. We had, we had that a couple of weeks ago, remember? I don't think we recorded. You can record it. The, um... <coughs> Just an interesting, interesting story. This happened fairly fairly recently, and, and I was actually thinking about it yesterday when I was in Mansim in Ben Sereba. The, um, the guy said not to, not to say it over. Yeah, well, I guess there's nothing to be said about him, but <clears throat> the story was there, there was a <laughs> there's a person <laughs> in a person in uh, lives locally, a person who has who um. Had a, like a high school, some sort of program where he used to be mashpi on bachim, and he used to take them once a month to Muncie to the Ribbitzer Rebbe, the daven by the by the, by the Ribbitzer Rebbe. One night he has a dream; he's walking in a basic forest, and he sees coming towards him an elderly yid, <clears throat> and the yid comes over to him and says, "Let me ask you a question." He says, "You know why we call a basic forest a basic chayim?" And Beisachayim? We call Beis Kharas, we refer to it as a Beisachayim. Right, 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 right. Why do we call Beis Kharas oh. Beisachayim? Right. So he tells him in the Shiva, I don't know, tell me why. So he says, I'll tell you why. He says, people come daven by a tzaddik in the Beis, in the Beis Achayim. When you come down by a tzaddik, the tzaddik gets, gets up out of his grave to, to be mashpia for you, to be pile for you. So he comes alive. So not only that, 
that's the tzaddik that you're davening by. He goes to his rebbe, to his tzaddik, who goes to his rebbe, who goes to his rebbe, and they all start getting up to life, <laughs> right, to respond to the fact that you're davening by the by the of a tzaddik. So now let's call it Beis Ha'chaim because the place where every every no, they're, they're not all in the same. Yeah, yeah, it could be even not on the same thing, but it's, it's a place that where things come to life. Wow. Okay, it's a place where where life where, where life happens. So he. He asks this elderly and who, who are you? He says, he says, they call me the Shtafanesh the Rebbe. Right, which is Rabbi Bamat Sum Shtafanesh the Rebbe the Rimitzer. So he asked him, why why are you coming why are you why are you coming to me? Like why are you um This was the Ribnitzer Rebbe? No, this was the Ribnitzer Rebbe. Oh the Rebbe oh, right. okay. So he said, Why are you coming to me? Like, why, why are you here? Like, what, what, like, why are you coming to me? Tell me this. He says, I'm coming to you because you bring me neshamas. That's what the Stefan Nestor told, told us this, this year. Mm-hmm. What, why? Because in as much as he's bringing his bacham to the Rimit Sarebbe, mm-hmm. and the Rimit Sarebbe is connected to him, so every time a person goes to the Rimit Sarebbe, he's also going to the Stefan Nestor. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's, that's, that's what he told. So this person had never, never seen a picture of the, of the Stefan Nestor. He told the story over to a friend of his, and he says, you know, that this is this is a this is the dream I had. So he took out a gedolim and looked at started looking through pictures. He said, "Tell me if you recognize, right, the person that you saw." Everybody came to the picture. Stefan Ah, oh, that's him. You know, that, that was the way the story started. Anyway, schosam yoga alein of Right. <coughs>